The chilled water system consists of chillers, distribution piping and fittings, accessories and valves, as well as circulating pumps and cooling towers. It plays a vital role in the building's HVAC, or heating, ventilating and air conditioning system, and is usually not accessible to visitors, patients or employees, with the exception of maintenance personnel and service technicians. Consider this lesson your special pass to walk through the mechanical room to get a close look at the different types of equipment and components that play essential roles in maintaining proper comfort levels within the building. To begin, let's explore the central chiller plant in order to see where the chillers are typically located. Press the left and right arrow buttons to explore the central chiller plant. Let's take a closer look at a typical vapor compression type chiller. Here you see a cutaway of the major components of a typical vapor compression chiller. As previously mentioned, the liquid chiller is a mechanical refrigeration device designed to lower the temperature of a secondary refrigerant, such as water or brine solution. This chilled water or brine solution can then be distributed to various locations within a building where cooling is desired. The unwanted heat removed from the water by the chiller is circulated to a cooling tower, where it is rejected into the atmosphere. The primary components of a liquid chiller are a compressor, an evaporator heat exchanger, a condenser heat exchanger, a control panel, and an expansion device. Move your mouse over the red circles to see the exact location of each component and to see a definition of that component. Let's take a brief look at each of these components to gain a better understanding of the chiller machine.